What up developers, so today we are gonna install Bootstrap 4 and Laravel 5.5. So first let's go to getbootstrap.com which is the official website of Bootstrap and uh, here you will have a download button. The official website is made with Bootstrap 4 obviously and is built in with mobile first in mind. That means you can resize the page however you want and the website will always look good. The elements will shrink, will position themselves according to how you code them and they will look nice even on smaller device or on huge uh, displays with huge resolution. Now let's head over to Laravel. Laravel will help you make PHP code that is really well organized, will help you with tons of functions that may reduce your development times really big time, okay? They help you make more in less time. Plus it is secure and your PHP code will be really well organized. First, let's go ahead and download Bootstrap. So you click the download button and it will get you to the download page where you can grab the latest version. So it is downloaded, you open it and extract it. And inside you will have two folders, a CSS and a GS folder. So that's it for now, let's go to Laravel. Here click the documentation link to get to the installation instructions. So first thing first, Laravel 5.5 requires PHP 7. Um, right now we will install Laravel on Ubuntu Linux using Composer, like suggested on this installation page. So open a terminal and type Composer to see if you have it installed or not. If it's not installed, you will get a command line suggestion you can run and it will install. Now as you can see, if you type Composer, you get the Composer command and the Composer logo in the terminal. Now let's give Composer the Laravel installation package with the following command line that we can take from the PHP Laravel installation page. So it will download the Laravel dependencies and everything. Now go to your HTTP folder that you configured with Apache and right in there open a terminal and paste the command line from Laravel installation page to install Laravel via Composer and it will install the latest Laravel 5.5 at this moment. Alright, now that it is installed, you see the folder with the project name that Laravel created. Inside are all the files for this project to run. So let's group them by type and name. So in the project we have a public name folder that we will rename to www for easier understanding. In this folder will be the files accessible by links like index.php, uh, images, CSS files and uh, everything. So let me open Atom here. Atom is the text editor that, that I use to make uh, PHP code and uh, work with Laravel. Alright, so let's go and add the project folder to Atom. And the first thing to do is the env file for environment configuration file. So out of the box Laravel will save a dot env file for you and the dot env dot example file well in my installation it did not uh, save the dot env file so we will save it now and go ahead and open a terminal in the laravel folder project folder to generate a laravel application key because it did not generate it and place it in the environment file directly. Next, let's go to the database and set the database access codes. We named this project YouTube project so uh, we'll create a database in phpMyAdmin named YouTube project. I access phpMyAdmin by going to localhost slash phpMyAdmin. So that being done we can continue. In the Laravel project folder we have an app folder 
that will contain the models, controllers and other stuff that we will address later. For now let's open the HTTP folder and controllers folder. And inside we will create our home controller that will manage the home page. The resources folder will contain a VOS folder that will contain the HTTP, the HTML files. Now these HTML files actually are PHP files that will generate HTML code. The files will be named by their role like home for home page and their extension will be .blade.php Blade is a templating engine provided by Laravel and it will help you just open and close brackets and place the PHP variable there and it will show its value and then we have the routes folder containing the routes or links that our website will have so Laravel put a default route for us in the web file pointing to the welcome file that Laravel created for us as an example so by accessing the route the single slash in the route points to the home page of the website. So now let's go and create a controller to manage route requests and, and page handling with Laravel. To do so, open a terminal in the project folder and type PHP artisan make controller home controller. And it will create a controller file for us in the controllers folder. Inside the home controller that we just created, we can create functions like home page, uh, contact page, etc. So when we access the home page function in the home controller, it will display the home HTML file. So we created a home function and it will just return a view. A view is the HTML blade file in the resources views folder. So now in the route, instead of making directly a function to return the view, we now will access the home controller and its home function that we just created, so that it instead returns the view. But first, let's see if we access the welcome page made by Laravel itself as an example. There seems to be a permission error to the storage folder. So we need to give the right permission to the storage folder. To do so, open a terminal in the project folder. So and uh, under Linux you can type ch mode 777 storage minus r for recursive under the subfolders of the storage folder. And now if we refresh the page, it works. It shows the Laravel default page. Now let's replace the function in the Laravel route with the home controller access function. Now refresh the page and it works. But this time with the home controller and its home function, returning the welcome view. Next step, we get rid of the welcome HTML file that Laravel created by default and create our own home page. And let's create under the views folder a master.blade.php file. And it will contain our design, our HTML design file code. Let's give it a title, YouTube project, and say hello world. And now let's see how it looks. We refresh the page and boom, hello world. Works as expected. Now let's go and import and copy our the bootstrap CSS and GS folders into the www Laravel folder. So inside the www folder, Laravel created for us for us by default a CSS and Java and GS folder with some stuff inside that we actually do not need. So we are gonna delete them. 
and paste the GS and CSS folder from Bootstrap that we just copied. So now we can include them in our, into our Laravel HTML design file. First is the base, the root folder where everything will be accessed. Meaning that if you have links, routes with several slashes in them, like home page, uh, title page and everything, the root will always go to the first slash of the website so that you don't have files that are missing. So we do so by writing URL that asset slash, which is the root folder of our project. Next, we include the bootstrap.css file, the minified compressed version, of course. And now let's check if it is loaded correctly. So it works. We have the laravel.css file loaded correctly into the project. And the hello world font also changed after we refreshed now the page. Let's also create and include a tile sheet for our website for our own use called YouTube Project Tile.css. And we are gonna create it under the www.css folder. Alright, next we must include the bootstrap that GS JavaScript file. And we also include the minified compressed production version. We place the code in the body tag at the bottom so that the, all the HTML is loaded before and, and shown to the client and then the JavaScript is loaded for faster website access. So now let's look again. After reloading the page, we check to see if the GS file is loaded correctly in the project. And it is. Next, we will include jQuery. So go to the jQuery.com website, which is the official website, and download the jQuery.js file. jQuery is a JavaScript file helping you with functions and animations, and Bootstrap is based upon it, so it is needed on the project for it to run. So download and copy it in the www.js folder. And then include it in the HTML file, but we are not gonna put it under the body tag, but at the end of the head tag, so that everything that is jQuery code, accessing jQuery code, will work. Now let's see if jQuery is correctly loaded into the project. And it is. Good. Now we must import Popper. Popper is a very important thing in Bootstrap because it allows to open models, uh, tooltips, everything that pops. To do so, we go to the download page of Bootstrap and access the max CDN link to the popper.js file and control S to save the popper.js file into the www.js folder of our project. And then next, we need to import popper before we, we import bootstrap.js because Bootstrap is based on popper. So let's see if we imported correctly Popper. And we did. Now our project contains the bootstrap code needed for a bootstrap project. So let's write a test code. Let's create a button with bootstrap by adding the class button, button primary and see how it looks. And it works. We have the blue primary button of Bootstrap shown on our project. Now that we have all that working, let's add the code into a container div. The container class will position everything, will shrink and enlarge things based on the browser width or device width, as we can see now by scaling the browser window. Great, so now we might need this HTML file to be our design file. So we don't write the design each and every time for, for every file. So to do so, we will create a home file for the home page and it will include this design. In the home controller and its home function, it will now return a view named home. And we need to go to the views folder, resources views folder, and create a home.blade.php file. 
Great, so now that we have our home file, we need it to include the design that we just made. And so to do so, we need to extend the master HTML file, which includes our design. And then later we write at section content. And in this section, we write the content of the homepage file to later be used in the master file, which is the design file. To do so, head over to the master file and write at yields content. So that now it shows the content of the home page under this master page. So let's see how this works. We refresh the page and we see the text of the home page. And now let's add a footer to the design page, which is the master page. And it will be included under all pages that extends this master page. We will use the card bootstrap class so that it looks nicer, visible. And now let's see how it looks under the browser. And it shows correctly. Here on top of the design page, master page, we want to include a menu. So to do so, we head over to the bootstrap documentation page under the components section and choose navbar. Here we have the documentation for the bootstrap navbars. Let's simply copy this code example and paste it into our project and see how it looks and tweak it. Well, it does show correctly. Let's add a comment and name the brand YouTube project. And on the container div, let's add a margin y, so meaning on top and on, on bottom, of 4. And see how it looks. Yeah, it already looks better. So URLs in, the, in a Laravel project are written with the URL helper class. So that it, they always point to the right folders because of the slashes. All right, now let's get rid of the links there and customize the other one and call it other page. So now we refresh, it looks good. We access it and it says that the page does not exist. So to fix that, we must go to the routes web folder web file and add the other page route pointing to the home controller other page. And we also need to go to the home controller and create the other page function that we access from the routes. This other page function will return the view named other page that we'll create under the resources views folder. So after we created it, the same thing, we must put extends master to include the design section content. And under this section, we put, we put the content of this other page. Simple as that. So we, here we put a link to go to the first page or the home page in this other page. And now let's refresh the page and see how it looks. Don't forget the base tag so that it points to the top and not blank. So now you see that we have the other page and the home page showing different pages and we access them by links shown in a bootstrap theme. What up developers, today we want to instruct bootstrap and rav and <laughs> What up developers, today we want to install bootstrap and laravel for our future web application So uh, with la... <laughs> Sorry <laughs> With laravel <laughs> You can... <laughs> Bootstrap is helping you make a web design without head ashes and it helps you have a coherent display motherfucking view with buttons.